For the last leg of my journey, I'm going to see a particularly bold example of this ornate style. Lodge Park, near Sherborne in Gloucestershire, was built for the aristocratic sport of deer coursing, the chasing of deer by hounds along a race course. A deer coursing event still takes place here once a year. Lodge Park was built in the early 17th century. It was a grandstand for watching the sport, designed to entertain guests in luxury. It looks more suited to be part of a royal palace in the capital than a country racetrack. The guests would have come first into this hall, this fireplace, and then through this very fine arch up to the grandstand above. Here in the great room there would have been food and drink laid out for refreshment, and then out through the doors onto the balcony to watch the racing. Now we think the dogs are going down, they're into slips. Now they're both young, they're both so we've got Juno running in the red collar with Murdo running in white. So I don't know who you're going to put your money on, but let the best man win. Nowadays, instead of a deer, the hounds chase a bit of old fur. In the 1600s, the deer was chased to a ditch where the dogs would have to stop and the deer would jump and get away. But if a bet of 20 pounds or more was made, it became a fleshing course. The ditch was bypassed and the race was won by the dog that killed the deer. James I would have found this very tame. He once charged after the hounds on horseback when the deer was brought down in his excitement, leapt off, slit the deer's throat, cut open its belly and climbed inside the deer, covering himself and all his companions in blood. No period of British history had seen such extravagance in buildings created for pleasure and comfort and show. But this world of aristocratic luxury was soon to come to an end. In 1642, Britain was plunged into civil war. Monarchists against Republicans, Cavaliers against Roundheads. 